We have a website with content and one contributed module, Devel. Now we're going to begin the process of moving our site to a new location. Before you do any of this, you need to make a backup of your site. If you don't know how to do that, we have a tutorial for that. This is important, not because you're changing anything on the site you're moving over, but when you go through a process like this, there's always a chance that you might press the wrong button somewhere and lose something. Also, if you're moving from one web host to another, you have to download it locally so that you have it to upload to the new server. So first step, back up your site. Once you've done that, continue on. For the next step, there are a couple ways to accomplish this, but in my opinion, the most straightforward and easy to understand way to continue on with the site moving process is to go to your target location and go ahead and just install a fresh new Drupal site as if you were starting from scratch. Brand new file system, brand new database, brand new everything. Don't move anything over quite yet. You can call it whatever you want. I've appended new location to the end of mine, so it's very clear that this is the target location, but that'll be automatically changed anyway once we import our old information. Once that's done, we're gonna to go to our file system on the target location. It should look like this, a fresh new Drupal install. What we need to do is copy over the modules, profiles, and themes directories with those of the site that we already have created. It's very important that if for some reason you're following along with this but you're using Drupal 7 or anything before Drupal 8 that you don't do what I'm about to tell you to do because in those cases that can mess up your site. This is Drupal 8 specific. The best way to do this to make sure we're getting the exact right information is to delete these directories. Before you do that, go ahead and put this new fresh install in maintenance mode by going to configuration, then under development, click maintenance mode, check that box and save. Then we'll go to the file system again at the target location. We'll delete the modules directory, the profiles directory, and the themes directory. Now we're going to upload those. Uploading these is a pretty straightforward task, especially if you're using an FTP client or the command line. If you're purely using cPanel, that's fine too, but you need to compress those directories before you upload them. So I've already done that here. In Mac OS X, you can simply right click and do compress. I'm not sure exactly what the process on Windows is, but it should be similar. So once you've compressed modules into whatever format you're using, here I have modules zip, as well as profiles. Here I have profiles.zip, and then themes into themes. whatever your compression method is. Go ahead and upload those compressed files. So back in the root directory of our site at the target location, go into Upload, choose File, and if we back up a little bit here, or rather go back and find my site, in the root directory of the site we've created, we'll see modules.zip, let's upload that. If you're working on a large site, some of these things may take a little while, don't worry about that. And then we'll do profiles.zip, and finally themes.zip. When that's done, go back to your file system once again and reload it so you can see those .zip files. Now we're going to extract these here. One at a time, modules.zip, we're going to extract it into public HTML or whatever your web facing directory is. Same for profiles.zip. And finally, themes.zip. Once that's done, and you see the modules, profiles, and themes directory in the root of your site, make sure you go ahead and delete those .zip files. You don't want to just leave those lying around. And then there's one more directory we're going to copy over. If we go into sites, actually before you go any farther, in your default directory, go ahead and manage the permissions on that. and Make sure it's writable. In fact, I might make it writable by group as well. Sometimes cPanel has trouble extracting files if the group doesn't have write permissions. Go into default. Here's our default directory. Here's our files directory. We're going to delete this as well. And then do the same thing we did with themes and profiles and modules. We're going to do the same thing with that files directory. So 
On the site you've already created, go to Sites, Default, and here's Files, and you'll need to compress that as well. Here's my version of that. Once you've compressed that, Upload. Once again, it's in Sites, Default. You should have Files.zip. Open that, and once that's uploaded, go back to your file system one more time, reload this page, click on this files.zip icon or listing and go ahead and manage the permissions for that as well. This needs to be executable. Just to be safe, I'm going to make it executable by the group as well, but users should be fine. This will make sure that cPanel doesn't have any problems extracting it once again. Click extract once that's all done. We're going to put it right here in default. Extract that. Reload the page. And if you get this Mac OS X or anything kind of like that, you can go ahead and just delete that directory. You don't want that. And then we don't want this files.zip file anymore. We do now have our files directory copied over. And if we go back into public HTML, we want to get rid of the Mac OS X directory here or anything that Windows might have added. Now we have most, but not all, of our file system in place. Don't bother trying to navigate your site yet because it won't be working at this point, but we are on our way to getting there.